He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Well, welcome back. This is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live and certainly in color from NAB 2016. It's opening day, and uh, the fans, the, the, the folks are just starting to pour in. It's going to get real busy and real hot real quick. I am uh, very thankful for our sponsor, Marshall Electronics, for having us here today. We have a great show. As you know, every 15 minutes we're doing a new interview, and we will be showing uh, literally the latest and greatest technology that's being announced right here at NAB. And right now, sitting next to me is Mr. Craig Mott, and he is an executive for sure with, uh, with Bluefish, and uh, he's going to tell us all about his amazing products, and I do mean amazing. Welcome. Good on you, Don. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, Bluefish 444, we're based in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we're a manufacturer, marketer, uh, and developer of uncompressed uh, SDI uh, video card capture, uh, capture cards. Uh, we support 8 bit, 10 bit, 12 bit, SD, HD, and 4K, uh, 4K 60p. We were pioneers in the 4K 60p workflow. Uh, you probably, we're not the only video card manufacturer on the planet, so. <laughs> But you're the best. Want, yeah, we're the best, and you probably want to know why we're the best. Um, I had to answer this question so many times. <laughs> uh, there's a little deviation here and there. So what we did was we, just before we come away to this trade show, uh, we, we went to the trouble of uh, making uh, a video called the Bluefish 444 Advantage. Uh, the Bluefish 444 Advantage, what is it? And it's a link on our homepage. So okay. www.bluefish444.com. But in a nutshell... What it is, is that we have uh, a 12-bit processing engine inside our card. So how do we go to the close-up here, Don? This one over here? Yep. Okay. So in here is, yep, pointing over there. Yep, and that's our FPGA. And we have a proprietarily developed 12-bit processing engine in there. It's not only in there, it's in every Bluefish card that we offer. And it's been developed for over 10 years uh, in, in firmware by our, by our developers. And each generation of card that we release to the market has this 12-bit processing engine in it. Now, the 12-bit processing engine allows us to capture, preview, and master the highest quality SDI video. Now, that's regardless of whether it's 8-bit, 10-bit, 12-bit, SD, HD, or 4K. So that's the, that's the crux of the technology that differentiates us in the SDI, uh, SDI video card market. Apart well, from that, right. we've, had the, we've had the drivers, the same uh, uh, code base for the last 12 years being built upon. Uh, so th obviously that creates stability. Complete stability. So and that's important. That's right. So sitting on, on top of the, uh, the video card is a layer, a software layer for the Windows operating system, the Linux operating system, or the uh, Mac OS X operating system. So when you go to plug a Bluefish video card in, you have the confidence of knowing that 21,500 people before you <laughs> have plugged it in and have debugged it. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Now, one of the workflows that we supply uh, in this industry is uh, live production and CG. Uh, and typically our, custom our partners there, the most well-known partners, are VizRT, Chiron, Higo, and Brainstorm. So those guys uh, do elections, Right. Live sports, right. Uh, reality TV. Right. That's going to you, millions you, and millions of you, people. You can't have any failures. I mean, you, period. you, just, have, you just can't. You can't. That's right. And that's that driver stability that I'm talking about. That's in every card that we offer. The same card that we offer to uh, live production, we also offer the same card, the same driver, into other workflows, into post-production workflows, uh, into live streaming, um, into general acquisition and uh, play out. We're having a lot of success in the uh, uh, live broadcast or live production play out market. Right. So uh, players that are perhaps not quite at this trade show, uh, it sort of borders, they border industries. Sure, well there's cross crossover yeah. in every but what situation. What they're doing in essence is they're using our product at a live event, a live concert, and they are projecting on the, the sides of buildings and in auditoriums. Really? Uh, 
they're doing graphics and, and they're, they're giving live sports, they're playing it out using our car. And somewhere there's a bluefish in that. Absolutely, that's what they're using us for. Talk a little bit about warranty and customer service. Uh, warranty is unlimited. That's a very good point, Don, about... Uh... That's a, a real good point, uh, and I'll interrupt you there, if I may, and kind yeah. of answer the question for you. Please. Anyone who offers an unlimited warranty, they wouldn't do it unless they were 100% confident that their product is 100% solid in the event that something happens, because you never know, lightning can strike or whatever, but uh, that, that's probably the best warranty in the business. If, if you offer an unlimited warranty and your product doesn't work, that's a quick way to kill a manufacturer. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that says a lot about the quality of yeah, your of your company. Uh, we've been in business since the early 2000s, so um, we have no problems there. Our man it's, a, it's a good point, Don. Our manufacturing process that we use as our external manufacturer um, meets the same engineering standards that the US military demand for IT hardware manufacturing. So they have an ISO 9001 accreditation, and ROHS compliance, That's and they're, they're important. They're important uh, matters. So uh, we we have uh, uh, hardware reliability, and in terms of uh, support, that's nothing people ever complain about with Bluefish. So that's for sure. We, <laughs> We said in our warranty on our new uh, website that we only launched a week or so ago, it said, uh, welcome to a warranty page, register your product. Uh, you need to register your product in case, uh, for warranty purposes, though we doubt you'll need to. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, I, I have to ask. That's hubris, perhaps. But <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're trying to lighten the mood there. That's by, good. That's by, a good by, thing. That's um, a good thing. Uh, I have to ask, I, I've been holding off, but you have a box here. Yeah, thanks very much. Will, will, you, will you mention a little bit about this box? He's reluctant to do that, so i gotta, I got to push it. Yeah, thank you. So we don't only manufacture video cards. Uh, we manufacture uh, converters as well. We have a, a, a range called Synapse, and we have uh, analog to digital, uh, SDI to HDMI, and HDMI back to SDI. Now, the reason we made those converters is I got sick to death of selling a video card and then having one of my competitors turn around and use the converter. Right. So now, right. when you buy a Bluefish video card, you can have the confidence to know that, and you need a conversion at one end or the other. Right, and that you, happens. You know that we have a range of products uh, that are manufactured and designed to the same standard as our video cards. I'm going to try to put this on camera too, and now let's see what happens uh, here. I can... I can tell people this because it's on the VizRT stand, but the SDI to HDMI converter uh, is driving the VizRT or some of the VizRT uh, workflows here at uh, NAB. I can believe it. Yep. As usual, uh, elegant, easy to use. Yeah. Now they're made for broadcasters. There's a fail safes on there, uh, so there's redundancy channels, and if your live feed goes down, it switches to another uh, another channel. Okay, so uh, that's uh, just be aware that that's, we've got those converters. Um, some of the workflows and the announcements that we've made at, um, at NAB are, are quite interesting. Uh, I said before that we, uh, were, we pioneered 4K 60p workflows. That came out of a requirement from Japan. We're a pretty strong right. partner in Japan. Right. Uh, in this instance, we were used in regular post-production. Uh, we have plugins to uh, the Adobe Creative Suite and also uh, Avid Media Composer, Assimilate Scratch. We can all do 4K 60p on those, those three platforms. Um, on our stand, we have uh, a Sony OLED, which is a Sony BVM X300 right. monitor that we bought with us from Melbourne. Uh, it literally costs tens of thousands of dollars. It does 4K high dynamic range. Really? Yep. And side by side, we have a regular 4K SDI monitor. We have post-production workflows with each one to show the difference between high dynamic range and normal range, or standard range, I'm not sure what the term for it is. High dynamic range, the, the, the OLED has, uh, I think it's a thousand nits compared to a regular CRT which has a hundred. And nits are a measure of brightness, so it is ten times brighter than a standard television that we're used to watching. So I would encourage people to have a look, at, just come along and have a look at what high dynamic range is. That's what we're going to be looking at in the future. That sounds awesome. Yeah, SL9021 for that live demo here at the show. So our, our releases, uh, one of our releases is that uh, our Mac drivers have been slightly behind our Windows drivers. We've been predominantly a Windows business for, the, right. for our, most of our iteration with all of our OEM partners, but our Mac development is now caught up and we have uh, 4K 60p offerings running with uh, Adobe and Avid and Scratch on the Mac. And we, because there's no PCI slots in the Macs anymore, we achieved that through uh, Thunderbolt partnerships with right. uh, Sonic, Magma, and uh, Netstore. So we're running that demo. So you're certainly project. integrated with every major manufacturer that's out there. I mean, it's clear, clear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So 
Uh, the Bluefish card is a Swiss Army knife. Now that's not the most original. <laughs> that's not the most original uh, uh, analogy to make. But in essence, what will happen with this card is it it can be. We have f firmware versions, so it can be a capture-only device. Right. So we have capture partners that are using our card only in capture mode. And a good example for that is uh, live streaming. I know it's not the manufacturers that are doing the live streaming today, right, right. but uh, we support Telestream Wirecast, vMix, uh, Streamstar, all software packages that use Bluefish only for ingest. Then we have our post-production workflows uh, that are predominantly using us in the output mode. Right. And that 12-bit processing that I was talking about before really comes to the fore when you want to do a 4K 60p output. And, and there's a reason why Wirecast and vMix and, and Streamstar use the product, again, because it's tried, true, and uh, that's what you want to go with when you're building something. And the other, the other major area where we have uh, application is in uh, live production, network, uh, live production uh, workflows. Uh, we have a very, very low latency between the capture and the player. So we have simultaneous capture and playing out at the same time. It's about a three frame delay. Uh, our partners uh, in that workflow uh, are CineDeck and uh, Prononology here at the show. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, we got up to the 4K 60p. Another announcement that we've made is uh, the Tico Alliance. We've joined the, joined the Tico Alliance. Now, Tico. Alliance is an initiative from a Belgian company called Interpix. And Interpix have made JPEG 2000 IP cores traditionally. Right. So we would put into the FPGA of your card, you'd put in their IP core, you would capture SDI and it would be encoded in hardware down to, right. down to JPEG 2000. The Tico uh, Alliance uh, announcement is a, a new uh, visually lossless, lossless lightweight uh, compression codec from, uh, from Interpix and it's four to one. Now what that means, and it's made for 4K 60p workflows. So 4K 60p uh, typically requires four times 3G. Now if working in uncompressed like we are with Bluefish, right. you're going to need four 3G cables to capture and run that to wherever you're going to run it to. Plus it's a lot of processing going Absolutely. on. Absolutely, huge, huge. So the advantage of the Tico Alliance is that the compre that we will be able to capture and the compression will be four to one, which means that 4K 60p will be able to go down one 3G SDI cable instead of four. How convenient that is, yeah. huh? Yeah, so our developers, we're going to make that available in our software development kit so that our developers. Is that available now or in process? Uh, it's in process. It'll be available probably by the end of the quarter, but it's also being demoed here on our stage. Oh, it is being demoed yeah, here. Yeah, it's being demoed. Um, we have, as I was saying before, uh, a, a capture is one, one way to use our card and also the simultaneous capture and playback. We have a product called Ingestor here, it's our own software. Okay. So as we have partners, that I was mentioned before, like Kyron Higa. Well, they can check Robert. that spec sheet out if they want on your website, yep, of course, right? Yep, it's in Gestor. But uh, we have written a few apps to run on our cards to complement workflows. Right. To complement uh, our partners out there. In Gestor is a multi-channel uh, capture device running on our card. Run uh, multi-channel capture software running on our card on Windows. Now, what it lets us do is to uh, capture up to four channels of SDI simultaneously and encode them to DNX HD. Now, that's very useful if you've got lots of archive, if you've got lots of right. tape to right. archive. And we're having a lot of customers uh, set up four VTRs simultaneously and digitize all their content using this free piece of software that comes running on our card. So not, not only do you get 12-bit processing to ensure the highest quality capture, but you run a utility that comes, it's right. free download on our website and away you can go. Certainly, the you know, based on your history, uh, you, the progress that you're making makes you the world leader. I mean, it really does. It well, you're right there. Ingestor lets us simultaneously edit in Adobe and and Avid whilst we're doing this capture. Right? Now that's <laughs> been available. That's been available for a year, and you know, we haven't done a great job of getting that out there. Although we're getting some customers using it now. Well, that's why you're on the Gadget Professor show. Yeah, so um, uh, we, we're just at Avid Connect and people come along and say, that's amazing. So I can capture <laughs> to DNX HD while I'm editing? I said, yeah, that's yeah, what you Yeah, because no one do. knows it can be done, essentially. Yeah, so you can run it as a background task while you're out there doing your right. regular workflow. What we've announced here at the show is new functionality to Ingestor. So traditionally it's been uh, DNX HD, OP, ATOM, DNX HD files because we developed with the Avid Media Toolkit. We've gone a step further and introduced a heap new codecs. 
So we're talking uh, XT Cam, DNX HR, JPEG 2000, Cineform. Everybody who's anybody. Yeah, the widely used ones. So not only can you capture uncompressed, but, n but now you can capture uh, multiple uh, different codecs. Okay. So that's one feature, but the second feature is that we've added uh, what is uh, a feature called uh, edit while capture or growing files feature. <laughs> okay. All right. So with the, we will let you. That's used in live production uh, continuously, and uh, uh, they they need it to be when, when uh, you go to a commercial break when you're doing a reality TV show. They quickly come back after the break and they do a quick recap of you know who sung what what rubbish. Right. <laughs> what you know who sung what song and what the look on the judge's face was and all that sort of stuff. Right? That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, we've now in, we will be introducing that in the second quarter. So that's going to let you. So there's a lot of things coming down the pike. Not yeah, only at NAB showing the latest and greatest, but we sure. have a lot of things. Yep. Following towards the end of the quarter. Yep. So that's. Well, that's uh, great. Yep. That's Excellent. our ingestor news. Um, and we're doing a VR demo on our, on our stand as well. Uh, VR is virtual reality, folks, yeah. in case you don't know. Uh, we're using, uh, we've got a 360 degree uh, camera set up with IO Industries capturing on the showroom floor 360 right, right. degrees. We're using two of our Bluefish cards to do the capture. We're using Ingestor to run the capture. So if I come by later on, uh, I'm going to get a little uh, You'll be able to VR get a tour? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to shared storage from uh, SNS, their okay. Evo product. From there, we are using uh, Nuke, who are one of our Playout partners. Or we, we use Nuke for Playout. Nuke is stitching together the VR files. Adobe is using them to uh, edit the files. Then we're using Scratch to finish the files. And at the end, you look at them with those <laughs> with those. That's great. I'm going to stop by a little on. later on, yeah. and I'm going to check that out. You're going to sure. give me the tour? Uh, yes, uh, okay. you, you can. We'll certainly come around and have a look Okay, I'll definitely do that. Craig, uh, I want to thank you so much for... What about uh, NDI? we got a quick... We're going to talk about NDI? Yeah, well, I'll do a quick one. Ooh. Have we got time or have I gone on? No, we're going to make time. I uh, want to hear this okay, myself. So I, I, go ahead. We must thank uh, our partner, New Tech, uh, tremendously. Um, Andrew Cross himself worked with us very, very, very closely in the weeks leading up to NAB. Yes. And he worked with our engineers and our software development kit. And uh, we got the integration, I think, done or almost done, but ready to, certainly ready to be released in the second quarter. Uh, and Andrew gave us a, a good wrap at his dealer meeting, so thank you for that. So the industry informally knows what's going on, but but in a, in a nutshell, uh, NDI is New Tech's uh, uh, IP protocol, and. Uh, yeah, what we NDI is, is uh, absolutely the buzzword at NAB this year. There is just no, yeah. no question about it. Uh, I can see what they're trying to do there. They're wanting to every. They're wanting because IP is becoming an adoption. They want people to standardise on NDI. Sure. So and what, they will. What they've done is they've added. They've written a plug into our video cards, which means that if there's a workstation with our video card in it, and it's a common partner between uh, Bluefish and Utex, such as VizRT or our friends in Argentina, Media Five. You will be able to baseband ingest the Bluefish card and come out the other side will be NDI IP. That's a major foot forward. Uh, that's going to revolutionise the industry, I think. Yeah. Very so, fascinating. Yeah. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm, I knew you were on top of it, but I, I didn't want to push it. Yeah. Too much oh, thanks. The... Look, that's my conceptual <laughs> understanding. There. We've got to do a little. There'll be a proper press release between us and. Uh, that's and awesome. In the that's in great the news. Great. Thank you so thanks, much. Don, it was, was a really pleasure good. speaking yep. to you, and okay. I look forward for my tour later on. Perfect. Okay. SL nine zero two one. Craig Mott, Bluefish. Thanks, guys. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.